Uh, some people say, why do we have to have a monument for a war that only lasted over 40 days? And my answer to that is, well, obviously you want to memorialize the sacrifice of those who made the ultimate sacrifice in that conflict. But more importantly, it's the other monument is right over here, 50,000 names on a wall. And these two monuments are inextricably linked together because we had in Desert Storm a president and a secretary of defense who did the smartest thing in the world. They gave the military a mission which was could be accomplished by military force, liberation of occupied Kuwait. Uh, they didn't impose rules of engagement on us, which politicians tend to do in order to abstain, uh, wash their hands of the horribleness of war, and it is horrible. This monument should be a place that every president and secretary of defense should come and visit prior to committing our nation to war.